Ah, uh, there's the Wii. Video cable. That loops around 500 things. Comes all the way down. Up into the TV, so yeah. That's the Wii. As you can see, there's the menu. Yeah. Um, I'm using that camera, which will be able to see the screen. I'll just press record on it. See, it's recording. EA. Recording the screen. Okay, so. Uh, that's my US disk. I think my PAL disk is in there. Yeah. See? PAL. So you put your PAL disk in, and I've got a copy of. NTSC Smash here. It's got USA written in the corner. I'll be doing it with Skies of Arcadia next. So I'll just put this here. Very good. NTSC Smash. See that? Yep. Okay. Where's my remote? There it is. Now you just go to your GameCube menu and you hold your Wii mode hand icon thing over the start button and then what you do is you press eject and then you have to hold it for as long as you can because after a while after pressing eject the um start thing disappears so you press eject and wait about half a second better and then you press a while it's still bubbled and then you have to quickly change discs so And if it works, yes, you have to be doing it. You have to be basically pushing the disc in. You have to give it a bit of a shove. And it has to be in there before the blue light turns off. Otherwise, the system will reset. And, yeah, so you saw that. And, yeah, you can see the smudge. That is NTSC Smash. It's got a bit of a black line at the bottom. But if you use an action replay, you can use an action replay or freeload to work through this method, then you can just load the game through that and it just comes up perfect. Peachy. Okay, I'll just we'll it zoomed in a lot. I'll just quickly turn this off. And I'll just get out Skies of Arcadia here. As you can see. And it stops being a blurry fag. USA. Skies of Arcadia. Skies of Arcadia. On the USN day. And that's, yeah, NTSC Smash. And here. Heal Smash again. Load! Focus, you bastard! Oh. <gasps> This is epic fail. There, pow. GG. Pow smash goes in. And just like before, you press your A button to get to your menu. Come to the L. A. Go to your menu and then you just press reset, give it a second. And then you press start before it disappears. There it is, Skies of Arcadia. Probably saw the blue thing, yeah I'd say so. You gotta get it in there before that goes away, otherwise the system will reset. And you'll have to do it all over again. Okay. So you have to give it a fair push in, not too hard, because you don't want to fuck up your system. Oh, there you go. Also sometimes you get a little error. <laughs> But that's just normal, that happens once every four or five goes. That's just because I pushed it in a little bit too hard. I forced it too much. I shouldn't force my Wii. It's not an object. I just have to have another go at this. Girl smash. Girl smash. It's been out for five years and it's still the best game ever. <laughs> in goes smash. Out comes Skies of Arcadia. There we go, suck it up. Can you see that? Yep. Back to the menu. Menu, menu, menu. Let's see the menu. There it is. Now, 
I just probably didn't do it fast enough. I left it too long last time. Eject, start. There you go. I think I might have pressed it a bit too hard again. And then maybe we'll get lucky this time. Doesn't seem to be. Yep, there she goes. Presented by Stiga. And some games don't have the big black line, but from what I've read, games like Resident Evil, Metroid Prime 2, ones games that are mainly meant for like 60 hertz and have sort of special graphic features or something, usually can screw up. But good old Skies of Arcadia, good old Sega, it was expecting this. It knew not to fuck up. Uh, yeah, so that's all good. And that's all with any PAL game. You can do it with any PAL game, not just Smash. Just press eject. And more proof. So I can see it. See? USA. This is my PAL Wii. Of course. I'll just prove that it's PAL somehow. As soon as I can find it. There it is. Oh, it's that means Australia, which is PAL. We are awesomely sexy. And that's how you do it. Too easy.